Hi everyone, it's Rachel. Um, and I'm gonna make some embellishments today. Um, so while we're waiting for some people to come in and visit, uh, I'm just gonna show you a few of these that I've made already. Um, so I know a lot of you have been looking at um, doing gel prints. And um, so I actually got a jelly plate. Um, I saw it on YouTube quite a bit, um, but then I saw Linda Israel. She did a lot with her jelly plates. Um, and so I went ahead and just went a little crazy and got all of these jelly prints done. So now that they're all done, I have to decide what is it that I'm going to do with all of these. So, um, So I decided that I was going to make some embellishments and it's getting close to the Christmas season. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and make some Christmas embellishments. So we're going to use up some of these jelly pens that I made today and we're just going to use scraps. If you don't have jelly prints, you can just use scraps. Here's some of the little embellishments that I made. Um, this one was real easy. I just did a lot of layering. You can see here, um, I have a, the first jelly print here, the second jelly print, some book page, and then a third jelly print. So this is just an old piece of magazine a jelly print, some book page, and then the image. So the images that I'm using are from Calico Collage, um, and they're one of her printable kits. So I'll show you what it is that I used. So as you're coming in, I see there's some people starting to come in. Hello, thank you for showing up today, I appreciate it. Um, please go over to the right hand side and just say hello so I know who's here. Um, and while we're waiting for a few more people, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So this is the image that I purchased from Calico Collage. Um, it's one of her vintage dominoes um, pieces. And the nice thing about this kit, if you order one of these domino pages, is that you can also make them bigger. Um, so I ended up taking, I'll show you here. I ended up taking this, let me see where we, okay. So I took this top piece right here and I just blew it up. Um, so now I have these little bit bigger pieces and you can blow them up or make them smaller to fit your projects. So you can see here, um, I ended up with, these are about one and a half inches by um, about three and a half inches compared to your one by twos that are right here. And then I purchased um, some Christmas words from her and it prints on a sheet like this. Um, and I love the size, but I decided since I was making some embellishments that I would put two on a page and shrink them down. So you can see um, here's the original Merry Christmas right here, and here's, if you shrink them down and put two on a page, um, the difference. So that's kind of what we're going to work with today. Um, and if we're going to do a few of those. Um, and then I wanted to show you a couple other things I've been working on. So I've been working on these little um, faux envelope embellishments. Hi, Patty. Thanks so much for coming. Um, so we'll do a few of these faux envelopes. Um, this is one of my latest design team projects, and I, I'm going to show you a couple of them that I put in here. Um, you can put them on a paper clip. So this one's on a paper clip. Um, but I just thought they're really cute, and it's a great way to use up scraps. And you don't need a template or anything special. You can see here, um, I'll just grab this bunch here. I've been making all of these and they're real quick and easy. So this is something great that you can do um, along with me. 
as you're coming in, if you would just please go over to the right hand side and and say hello so that I can acknowledge that you're here. I'd appreciate it. Um, I will be doing for anybody who's some people who stay with me throughout the whole thing. Um, I will be doing a giveaway at the end. So I think that's going to be fun. Um, but we're going to just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do um, is we're going to just do some envelopes. I want to show you how to make these cute little embellishments here. So if you want to do it along with me, all you need is some paper. Um, any type of paper, you can use book paper, you can use um, scrapbook paper. I'm just going to dig here in my scraps for a minute. Um, and I'm going to do this, this piece right here. So what you need to do, um, and I'm going to show you sort of the different sizes that I have. I have this teeny, teeny one right here. Um, this is about an inch and a half wide. Um, these are two inches. And then I have some that are about an inch wide, which are like the size. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of put some of these together. So the very first thing you're going to do is take any paper that you have. This I've had in my scrap bin forever. It's when I was doing some maj paging of napkins. So we're going to just use it. And the first thing I do is I'm going to do, we'll make a two inch one first. So I'm cutting a two inch strip. And then I'm going to cut a one and a half inch strip. So you can see the difference. And then we'll cut a one inch strip. Okay. Anybody planning on go uh, doing this with me? Okay, once you've cut that, all you need is a pair of scissors and a glue stick. Okay, so I'm gonna slide some things out of the way here so we can make some room. Um, and then I like to use an anchor. Um, today I'm going to use Vintage Photo, um, but you don't have to do this part. So let's start with our two inch piece, first of all. So the first thing I do is I fold this up about how um, tall I want the envelope to be. And so that's about an inch and a quarter. And then what I do is I do not quite the full length. So if you wanted to fold it like this so you could kind of get an idea, um, when you're first starting, you can do that. If I was to cut that right there, then then my peak would hit right to the bottom. So I actually want to come up a little bit. So I'm coming about a half an inch. You can see. All right. And now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it in. Fold each side in like this. And I'm going to check and see how my envelope is. Um, I'm actually, let's do a point on this one. Sometimes I do a point and sometimes I don't. All right. So I don't know if you can see that. There's my little faux envelope. So now what I'm going to do is I need a piece of scrap paper. Okay. Let me use this. Okay, so now I just take my glue stick. Hello, is it Corinne? Hello, thank you for showing up. So now I just put some glue there and I just tack down my sides. I'm using my, oops, using my bone folder. And then you can leave this like this. If you wanted to leave it like this, you could and open up. But because I'm making them faux and I'm making them as embellishments, I'm just going to glue those shut just like that. Then I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm going to go around the edges. Thank you. I'm so happy you're here with me. I, I This is just an impromptu. Um, I didn't have any plans on doing this tonight, and I was just kind of sitting here, and I thought, well, maybe some people are out there and are interested in 
um, just kind of crafting with me today. So please grab some paper, um, you guys, and let's make some of these amazing envelopes. These are something you can do in front of the TV. Um, and isn't that cute? So now I just glue that down. And there is my two inch envelope. Cute. All right, so now let's do the inch and a half, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with the inch and a half. I'm gonna fold it up about an inch and a quarter. And then I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to cut it so that it's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away from the bottom. Then I'm gonna fold in my little corners to make my faux envelope. And there it is. This one has a little, but I'm going to go ahead and make it complete. So if I wanted it like that, I can keep it like that, which I like those. But I'm going to do this one. I'm going to just make it a nice point. Who else is here with me? Patty and Corinne are here. Who else is here? You guys, I really do. I'm going to do some giveaways tonight. So please um, make sure you say hello so that I can get your name and um, I know who's, look at, isn't that adorable? So that you can be part of our giveaways today. Oops, I didn't mean to put glue on that yet because I haven't inked it. My fingers are going to be a mess. All right, so this is a great, as I was saying, it's great to do in front of the TV. Um, because you only need a glue stick, paper, and then if you want to ink, your ink pad. So here is the next size. Isn't that cute? Now let's do the one inch one. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up about an inch. This time I'm going to go up about an inch and an eighth because I want the size to be pretty close to scale. Um, you can make them more square if you want. All right. I'm coming in and I'm going to make a nice point. And I'm going to glue that. Oh, thank you, Corinne. I'm so glad you like them. Lynn. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're watching me from Australia. Look at how cute, you guys. Oops. Look at this little one inch. Isn't that adorable? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to ink this up. So that you can see it a little bit better. What do you think? You guys like these little envelopes? I think they're really cute. Um, I got the idea. Let me tell you who I got the idea from because this is not my original. Hi, Nina. Thanks so much for joining. I haven't seen you in forever. Thank you for joining tonight. Um, let me see here. The person who made these originally or who I kind of took the um the idea from uh, let's see here was girl on the ridge um she has a youtube channel here and she was making some of these um I thought they were cute um but I kind of wanted to just add some other ephemera and things to them so Basically, once you make these, then you can start layering them however you want. And I can layer them like this and make a little embellishment, um, add some bows, do whatever. Um, so what I want to do is maybe thinking about some Christmas ideas. We're getting ready for Christmas and have all these cute little things. So. Um, Let's let's do some with some scrapbook paper. 
Um, and I'm using, this is like really old scrapbook paper, but use your scraps up. I, um, this has just been, it's, it's wrinkled on one edge and I've had it forever. So I'm using this, um, but use your scraps up. Don't, don't go out and buy new. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this way first. So this is my two inch one. And we are going to make a really cute embellishment together. Is anybody else crafting along with me? Just trying to catch up with all you ladies chatting in here. I hope everybody's having a good evening. Um, the weather is getting colder and colder here in Michigan. Um, it's getting closer to winter than I would like. Okay, so, whoops, sorry, dropped that. Okay, so here's our envelope made out of scrapbook paper. So first one, sorry you guys have to hear me inking. So there's my first one. So I'm going to glue it down. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this book page one as part of it. Not sure how yet. Um, I need one a little bit small. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to make another one. So here I am, I'm not using my paper cutter, where before you guys, we were using, I was using my paper cutter. I'm just cutting along these words and using it as my template. So you really don't have to use a paper cutter if you don't want to. You can simply go out and work on these in your living room, um, in front of a TV, with just a pair of scissors and a glue stick and some paper. Fun or what? Oh, good, Patty. I'm glad you're doing some crafting and you're right along with me while you're working. Is anybody making these little envelopes with me as we go? I'm going to trim this just a smidge. So, oops. I'm just using um, this. Uh, all-purpose glue stick. It's not a ch child's glue stick. Um, it's an all-purpose one, and it works pretty well. It, it definitely keeps things stuck together well. Um, now, sometimes if it's not even on the sides, I just take the scissors and just even it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. All right, everybody's kind of quiet. Oh, current Corinne's leaving us. She said she'll be right back, so hopefully she'll join us again. So what's everybody up to tonight? There's eight of us in here but right now, but there's only just a couple of you who have um, said you're here. So please say hello so I know who's here um, so that I can... I'm definitely going to be doing some giveaways tonight. So here's our two envelopes. And we're going to get another one. Um, and I think, I think I'm going to use some of the scrap paper from my jelly prints that I made. So... I just cut a piece. And we are going to make another little envelope. I'm 
well, this one, this one I'm not going to be able to make the points quite as sharp because it's not, I should have made it a little bit wider. That's okay. We can fix it. Well, you know what? We're going to do it again. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to fold this over. There. So what else is going on? Yeah, Patty, you can do these with tiny little papers inside. Um, and you can you can make them as well like that. Although, um, and I'm going to apologize now. My dogs are probably going to bark. I just see my husband um, has someone coming over to pick something up. So I apologize in advance if they start barking. I see that he's here. <laughs> um, and you'll probably hear them. I have two little schnauzers that are noisy. So, um, but yeah, you can make them so that they tuck paper papers inside. But these are just really fast. Um, embellishments. All right, so so here we go. So then once you get them, you can just start layering them. Um, sorry, there's my dogs making noise. I'm going to trim this just a little bit. I don't quite want it that wide. Trim this a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now what we can do is we can start deciding how we want to layer these. And when we layer them, um, I like to use Fabri-Tac, but you can use whatever you want. Oh, now I'm throwing my anchor around. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. This one's really hard to see. Um, it's hard to see the where the flap is. So I'm going to hold off on that one for a minute. Um, and I'm going to use a different one. Let's see here. You know what, maybe we'll use, I was looking for something that kind of goes with the color scheme. But you know what, we'll just make another one right here. Thanks, Patty. I'm glad you like them. Um, I see there's quite a few of us in here. Please, please, please say hello. Um, I am going to be doing some giveaways and I need to know who's in here. Um, so please put your say hello over on the side so that I can acknowledge that you're here. And also that will help, be, help me uh, know who's in the giveaway for tonight. So. There, that one I think is going to look great right there. So, thanks, Lynn. I'm glad you like them. Oops, did not mean to to do that. I was watching the feed and not paying attention. Oh, Lynn, where are you from if it's going to be very hot? It's very cold here in Michigan. Where where do you live that it's very hot? I wish I could say it was hot here. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm starting to get ready for Christmas. I like to get stuff ready early. Um, I'm not a person who likes to shop in the month of December. Um, I just do not enjoy 
the the crowds and all of that. So I'm starting to get some things done early. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this right here. Okay, so here's, whoops, here's my little cluster of envelopes. And what I wanna do is add, make them a little more Christmassy. So I need to figure out what do I wanna do? So I certainly can add this cute little bow, which I think, what do you think? Should I add that little bow to this cluster? Um, and then I got out my Martha Stewart. This is an old, old punch. It's probably one of the first punches I ever, um, I ever purchased. And let's see here. This is a mop-up page, but there's some very light blue right here. So look at that. I just used, took that ugly paper and found that gorgeous little snowflake. So let's see, where do I want that little snowflake? I actually might, might do something like this. What do you think? Fabric, no fabric? I think we're going to add some fabric. I'm going to add it right here. Just going to kind of wad it up, get it frizzy. There we go. And now I'm going to add my little snowflake. And this snowflake is just out of um, copy weight paper, just so you know. Um, I always kind of keep stuff in my scrap box that's, um, and then I use it. So there we go. So it's kind of hard to see, but I can get out my little bling and I can add a little rhinestone to the middle. Just like that. And there is our first little winter cluster. Now you can totally keep layering. I could layer some lace behind it, um, which might be kind of pretty too. Or layer some lace up top, which I kind of like that. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. Add this scrap piece right there. And this is really starting to just be a beautiful little embellishment. What do you think guys? I think it's really cute. All right, so let's make a few more of these little clusters, little cluster envelopes. All right, so I'm gonna use this one. I need to make one that's a little bit smaller. Um, so here's another thing you can do. If you have a printed side, um, and because I already have a lot of printed, I can do it the opposite way so that I just have the um, book page side. This is an old dictionary page. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just make this we're going to fold it down. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this. Oops, sorry for the noise, guys. You like the lace, Lynn? Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm just, all I'm using is scrap stuff that I have around. 
I don't know about you, but as a junk journaler, I think we're supposed to have less scraps. Um, I think that's the purpose, but somehow I just always seem to have a ton of scraps. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna seal that. All right, so here's the first one. Here's the second one, which I think I'm gonna add just like that. So we'll go ahead and add it. And I like this one because you can really see this envelope nicely. And now we need to do a small one. So I think I'm going to do this one. Whoops, this one didn't get glued together. All right, there we go. And that one is really cute. I love that. So these little clusters can be used in a couple of different ways. You can you you could attach them to um you can attach them to a piece of cardstock. So I could attach them like this um, to, to make it a little thicker. In fact, I think I'll do that with this one just so you can see what I'm talking about. So all I'm doing is I'm adding a piece of cardstock, and this is just a scrap piece. Um, and I'm doing that so that it makes it a little stiffer. And so now what I could do if I wanted to, and this was, let's just say this is my page in my journal. I could glue this on this side and this side, just like that. And look, I can tuck things behind them. So we just made a tuck spot of, out of these little envelopes. Is that not adorable or what? Absolutely, you could add them to paper clips. Um, you, Lynn, you may not have seen it, um, but I did show earlier how I did them on paper clips. I'll grab it. So here's one that's on a paper clip. So it just goes over the page like this. Isn't that cute? So then I just started taking my jelly print scraps and I started making them. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna start just making some of these envelopes and um, I'm hoping some of you are making some of these along with me. And how many of you would like a giveaway? Anybody interested in a giveaway tonight? How about I send you a few of these little embellishments that I make tonight? Anybody interested? Everybody's quiet tonight. Nobody wants a giveaway tonight, huh? Hmm. Normally, my uh, friends are jumping for joy they, if they want to do a giveaway. But let's do a game. All right. So I'm thinking, how about, um, how about we pick number for the first person? The first giveaway. So Patty wants to do a, a giveaway. So 
let's pick a number. Um, I'm going to write a number down off camera. So give me a second. I'm going to get my pen. Okay. And I'm going to write a number on a piece of scrap. And there's 10 of us in here. So So the number is under here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to pick a number between one and 15. And the person person closest without going over to my number will get one of my first um, giveaways. And you'll get a few of these little um, embellishment sent to you. Okay, are we ready? All right, so one, two, three, go ahead and pick your number between one and 15 and post it, please. Post your number. Post your number. Patty's got 12, seven, Anybody else going to post a number between one and 15 without going over? Only two of you ladies want to play tonight? You want to play? So post a number between one, okay, there we go, three, they're starting to come through. Between one and 15, post your number. The person closest to the number that I wrote down without going over will get the first, and I'll send you a couple of these little envelopes, embellishments, 14. Peggy is 14, all right. I give you about 30 more seconds before we're, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the magic number. Okay. And while everybody's finishing up their numbers, hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining. All right, so the win winner is, all right, so we're going to stop right now, and I'm going to pull my little, so the number five. So I think somebody, five, Sandy Shaw picked number five. So Sandy, you are the first winner of giveaway number one. Um, what I need you to do is email me. Um, I need you to email me at R-A-C-H-E-L read 2014 at gmail.com. Email me your address and I will get that little package out to you. Okay. And we'll do some more giveaways while we're, I'm going to make some more of these little, um, pieces while we're chatting here. So I hope everybody is just, as I said, having a great day. Um, I haven't been on in a while. So for those of you who have supported me and I just, things have been really crazy. For those of you who don't know, um, I am a full-time principal and I am very busy during the school year and things have been really crazy lately. So I haven't been able to get on like I like to, but one of the things that I, you know, I love to craft, I love to share and teach. 
And um, so this is how I do it. So the thing I like about these is I just layer the different sizes, um, add the different embellishments. It's just, it's not hard. It's, it's easy. And they ends up being a really cute, cute embellishment. And so then you can also add, so like this is from some apple paper. So I can also add, I'm going to take this little apple pie slice. And it's just from a piece of paper from Calico Collage. And I'm going to add it. I'm going to add this little pie piece. And so here's an easy way to just make another piece of ephemera to your kit or to your junk journal. So look, there's a cute little apple pie one. And on this one, I'm gonna add this little bow because I just think this bow is so cute. So I'm gonna add it up here. Whoops, stuck to my finger. And there we go, there's another cute little embellishment. Okay, thanks Lynn, I appreciate you coming in. All right, so those are some of the envelopes. Oops, I didn't, I started this one, I didn't finish. Sorry guys. Um. Let's see here. I need to pull something that has now I've got so much junk. I don't know about you guys, but I can just manage to wreck my desk in about 30 seconds. This one I'm gonna set to the side because I need something that's either this pink or this green to make this pop. So we're not gonna do that one right now, but we're gonna move into the other embellishments. I wanted to show you those cute little envelopes. Oh, and I stuck that down, okay. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to make some of these little Christmas embellishments. And as I said, I got them from Calico Collage. So I'm going to show you how I made these really quickly, but you don't have to, you can go over and put her, her images are amazing. If you've not been over there, go on to Etsy, Calico Collage. Um, she just has some amazing images. And it's time for me to start stocking up on my Christmas embellishments. So these are the ones that I doubled in size um, because remember they, they come small. This is the original size and the bigger ones that I doubled. So those are the size that they come, okay? And so the next bit is I just inked around the edges a little. Oh, have a good day, Lynn. Okay, so after that, then I just found some book page, and it can be any type of book page. Um, I, as I said, I'm just using scraps. So I'm digging into my book pages. And you're doing small and easy too, Carrie. 
Um, I just can't commit to anything big right now. So then I just kind of eyeball it and rip the paper. And I wish I would have ripped that a little bit better. Okay. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to tear. I don't need a lot to stick out. That's pretty much enough. Oops. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna ink the edges of this a little bit. And then here's a little trick that I do sometimes. Sometimes I will crease the paper and I will ink it and then I will crease it the other way and ink it and look, it looks like, it just ages it a little bit more it looks like it's been wrinkled and kind of tattered, but the reality is, is I, I put that in there. So see that? We'll do it right here again. See? All right. So then what I do is just go ahead and glue this. just like that. And then we need to get a base. So I went into my jelly prints and I just kind of looked to see what colors I could pull out and um, set this over here. So let's see here. I think I'll use this one. Mm -hmm. No, it's a little too dark. Let's see. You know what? We're going to use this one. All right. So I'm cutting these um, about two and a half wide. By three and a half long, I think. Hold on. Double check that. Yep. There we go. So two and a half by three. And then um, I go ahead and ink this. Now this is just, I wanna show you this up close. This is just paper I had in my recycling bin that I did jelly printing over. Um, so you can see there's, this is October 12th, 2018. So another way, if you have a jelly press at home, um, go in your recycling bin, that's how I started, and I really liked how the words just gave it another element. So now I'm just going to take this and glue this down, just like that. Isn't that cute? And then we need to just find a word. that goes. Um, I'm gonna do this jingle all the way. So I'm just trimming out this word from Calico Collage. This a little straighter. Ink it up. Ink it up. 
And we're gonna just glue this down. And there we go. Pet jelly prints are where you take um, glue, or I'm sorry, you take um, paint and you um, put it on a jelly plate. And I'll show you what a jelly plate is. Grab one. Um, and so you brayer it on, and then so here's my smaller jelly plate, jelly press. And you brayer, you stick the paper down, and it takes the image and puts it on. And so here's a couple of tags that I've made with the jelly um, press. So it's really fun and addicting, um, but <laughs> the only problem is you end up with all of these jelly prints, and then you've got to figure out what is it you're going to do with them. So that's why I had to come up with a project for them. So now I want to put, I think I want to put one of these little snowflakes on here. Let's see. I'm going to put it right there. And then we're going to put a little bit of bling on there. Well, darn it, where did I put those? Erica, I see you're retracting some messages. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, great tags. Okay. Not sure if there was a problem, but I see a bunch of retracting. But yeah, Carrie, this is really easy. This is just, and when I get home from work, I need something that is easy and fast, um, doesn't take a lot of, of time, and it just allows me to get my mind off of um, everything that's going on. And so, there you go. There's a cute little tag. Oh, because you can't spell Erica. Oh my goodness, you make me laugh. All right, so let's do another one and then we'll do another giveaway. Okay. So this time we're going to use the same paper. Use the same paper. Go ahead and I'm going to cut. Oops. Cut it at the wrong, sorry about that guys. Cut it at three inches instead of three and a half. There we go. So, I'm gonna ink this up. I love these images from Calico Collage. If you've not been over to our shop, you really need to check Norella out um, because they are absolutely gorgeous. All right. So, let's see what we have here. Yep, it's cute. This one I'm going to make a little darker on the edges just to give it a different look. Now, you could definitely take these and stamp over them. I'm trying to keep them pretty flat. Um, I don't want too much bulk because when they go in your journal, um, I like them to stay pretty flat. But the other thing is, I'll show you what I was thinking that these might be cute for. And you guys can tell me what you think. Um, All right, so for this one, I'm gonna change it up a little because I wanted to cover up some of that white that was over there. 
I'm going to put, you can't see these, but there's Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on these. Little snow, some of these snowflakes. Um, so that's really cute. And for this one, I'm just going to put the word believe on there. Now, if you don't want to go and purchase words, you can cut these in, I'm sorry, you can type these in Word um, or any word processing and make your own. Um, so if you would rather do that, just think about, you know, look through Christmas, children's Christmas books, or think about words that are on Christmas cards or things like that that you see. and. Um, And use those. I'm going to mat this just so it has a little teeny bit of color. I don't want a lot of color, but um, it's going to be kind of hard to see on those words because it's very similar to the same. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to put believe across there. There. Isn't that cute? So there's another cute little card. We'll put our little center piece in there. There. Now, what I want to do with this one, though, because it's, it's a little bit flimsy, um, I think wouldn't this be pretty to, to trim it in that? So, I'm going to grab that paper and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue around it. I'm going to leave a little border just like that and we're going to trim it. That will sturdy it up a little bit. We'll ink our edges. And there we go. It's another adorable little card. All right, so we're going to do another giveaway. This time, um, we're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to have, ask you to do a number between um, let's see. Um, 45 and 55. I'm sorry. Let's do 40 and 55. So pick a number between 40 and 55. Go ahead and post it. Post your number. And it's the closest number without going over. Number between 40 and 55. And while you're doing that, I'm going to cut one of these smaller images. Aaron, um, Aaron, you're going to have to pick another number because Patty picked 55 before you did. So, Aaron, if you'll pick a different number. All 
Yep, just we'll wait for you to post it, Erin. Okay, Erin picked 45. Oh, thank you. Okay, so the number for this round is 51. So who came closest to 51 without going over? I think, I think it's Erica. Oh, Erica. Erica, send me an email with your address and I will for sure get something out to you. So, so far we've had Sandy Shaw and Eric Nelson win. Awesome. So what types of things do you ladies want to see um, for these craft with me's? Because I'm probably going to start trying to do some more. Um, but I, I never know what you ladies want to see. So, you know, do you like to see things like this? where you can kind of craft along? Do you want to see how to make a journal from start to finish? Um, what is What are some things that you'd be interested in seeing from me? I know I just, I love to see people create things and I just, so... And I love to learn, but what is it? You like to see embellishments being made, Karina? Okay. So I, I was kind of, I like to see embellishments being made too. And I like to see different takes on embellishments. Embellishments. Okay. So is there a certain day of the week that you would like to have, um, have me come on? to YouTube and do some videos. I don't want to step on other people's toes. I know Linda Israel does it Monday nights um, and she does an excellent job. So if you have not had a chance to subscribe to her and check out her channel, please do. Um, Cause she does a wonderful job, but you know what, what days and night or what nights or days are good for you. Um, Aaron, you like easy embellishments like this? Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, I like easy stuff too. I just think, and one way to make paper embellishments, you know, you guys, I'm not using a lot of tools. I'm not using a lot of, different things. I'm just using paper scraps, but by keep continuing to layer and layer and layer, that really um, helps give it dimension. It helps it look nicer. Um, so it's kind of the old scrapbooking. For those of you who were into scrapbooking, it's kind of that old method of matting, just continuing to mat. Um, I just think it makes a nice, a nice look. Um, I'm going to cut out this one that says snow angel. Cause this little girl is so cute on here. It does sort of frame it, Erin. Um, it frames it. It does. It's just really nice. Now I have my fingers all sticky. Do any any of you? I mean, I'm just making a complete mess in my studio. Anybody else have that problem? I think it's just me. I can start out so neat. So there's another one. Now my fingers are all sticky. I gotta 
Hang on, guys. Sorry for my arm, but I have to get a wipe. I like scrapbooking, too. I like to watch Jessica um, also, Corinne. Um, she does a beautiful job. Yeah, Erica, these smaller ones would be paper clips. So the other thing I was thinking, um, that's a great idea, is the paper clips. But here, here's what else. Here's what I was thinking you could do with these. So I'm trying to use up book pages. I'm sure no one else has a book page problem like I do. But so here's sort of my idea. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit taller than the embellishment. So I'm going to take this and cut this. All right. So, all right. And then I'm going to fold this in, oops, about a half an inch. This is impromptu, guys, so I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. So if it doesn't, I'm sorry. All right. So now I'm going to cut this. I'm going to use this line on my dictionary paper right here to fold in this side. All right. So there we go. And now I'm going to cut away. one side so I now have something that looks like this okay and before before I do anything with it I want to get my circle punch I'm going to ink it up. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these two little flaps shut. So now I have this little pocket. Isn't that cute? Going to get a piece of fabric. Let's see here, I'm gonna cut that a little bit more. A little too tall. We're gonna go ahead and put that down. And then we can put our little embellishment here. And we've now created a little pocket. Using one of these embellishments. What do you think? Cute or what? Erica, you like it?
And then all we have to do is slide one of these two and a half inch cards in here if we want to. Or we can make another two and a half inch card. So this little cute little girl one fits in here nicely. Oops, I must not have put enough glue on here. There we go. And now, look, we have this cute little pocket. Simple, simple. The other thing I could do for this pocket, let me show you something else we could do. I'm going to take a piece of this avocado dyed paper. Um, and I'm going to roughly measure it this way. So, I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to fold this a little bit narrower than the envelope. Anybody know what I'm making? One of those faux envelopes to go inside. But this time, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue down these two little flaps just like that. Trim those edges a little bit. I'm going to ink my edges. Isn't it amazing what the inking does? I'm going to ink the back of this one too. I'm going to put this little snowflake on here. Just like that. And look, we now have a little journaling spot that we can tuck in. We can pull it out, open it up. You can journal on both sides. Isn't that cute? I'm actually going to ink this too. So another way to just make some cute little journaling cards with just paper. I know, Carrie, I do too. I have tons of ink and I just continue to use the same ones over and over. Um, I used to use black soot a lot, but I pretty much only use vintage photo now. So I think that's really cute. Um, I have another idea while we're sitting here. So I'm going to cut this again. So this is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And you can get three of these journal card envelopes out of here. Whoops, I didn't cut that very straight. I'm just going to go ahead and make another one of those envelopes. Oops, I didn't fold that very good. All right. 
So we made another one. And if you wanted to, you could This is just a little heart punch. Actually, I need to I need to thicken this up a little bit. So this is just a scrap again. Whoops, I dropped it. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the noise, guys. I scooped the chair back. Okay. So now I'm going to ink this. And I'm sure many of you have already done this. But sometimes we need a reminder. Sometimes it's some of the stuff that I did early on in junk drilling and I forget. And sometimes the easier embellishments, simpler embellishments, just they're fun and they look good. So now all I'm doing is just putting a little dot there. And I'm using this heart as my closure. I can open it up. Here I can journal on and I can tuck it back in. So another cute little embellishment. So I hope you guys liked those. Um, and I will definitely be doing some more of these soon. Oh, thanks, Erin. Oh, Carrie, this is the first time you haven't done any of these. Oh, well, good. I'm glad that I at least showed you something. These are fun. Just do these in front of the TV. When you're watching those Hallmark movies, now that it's holiday season, um, just fold some of these and keep them. They're easy. They go into tuck spots. They're not real bulky. Um, they're just really fun to do. I really liked the one with the snowflake. I'm going to make another one with the snowflake because I think that's really cute. Yeah, Carrie, that's what you have to do because then it just makes journaling so much easier when you have a stash of stuff that you already kind of have together. Um, even if you make up a bunch of these and then you don't decorate them till you're ready to do your journal. Um, that's why I've been just trying to fold up some of these envelopes to make these little mini embellishments. Because I figure if I have the envelopes, then I can just make them up quickly. Um, and I think that's fun. a hard time folding this one for some reason. I'm going to fold this one up a little. There we go. That one did not want to fold well. Good. I'm glad, Carrie. I'd love to see you po definitely post them so I can see what you made. These are fun. So I hope everybody had a good time. Um, Erica and Sandy, please make sure you send me an email so I can send out a couple of embellishments in an envelope for you. Um, for those of you who um, came tonight, thank you so much. I know we didn't have a huge crowd, but it's fun to do the live videos. Um, if there is a certain day that is good for you that you would like me to do, um, the videos, let me know um, because I'd like to do a few more. Now that it's getting to be winter months, I'd like to do a few more videos. 
So I hope everybody has a great night and have a great evening. And thank you so much for watching.